Safe Drinking Water Foundation is a registered Canadian charity that started in 1998 and it started sending water testing kits to schools in 2001. Its mission is to educate the leaders of today and tomorrow about drinking water quality issues to realize their goal of safe drinking water being available to every Canadian. They have a lot of information about water on their website. So there are 68 comprehensive free fact sheets on their website. And those are on a wide variety of topics like waterborne illnesses and water pollution. And the programs are available to schools anywhere in the world. Obviously, they would need the internet, but um, they can use the programs free of charge, no matter where they are in the world. And we also have curricular connections for the provinces and in terms of the English programs and the French programs. And the Operation Water Biology program received an award from the Regional Center of Expertise on Education for Sustainable Development. And there's always a strong demand for kits. There's often a very long waiting list for sponsored kits. Although schools in Saskatchewan tend to be the luckiest, especially those around Saskatoon in terms of receiving sponsored kits. And the kits have been used by over 2,900 different schools across Canada, as well as some universities and other organizations like museums. There are three programs that involve kits and four programs that are just free of charge on Safe Drinking Water Foundation's website. The elementary operation water drop kits are for students in grades four to eight and enable them to test their local drinking water and control water samples for eight different components. And they compared their results to the guidelines for Canadian drinking water quality. The high school students work in groups to test their water and four other water samples. So one being control and then the other three we recommend um, urban, rural and raw. And so they test for 12 different components. So the components are things like total chlorine, hard, total hardness, um, there's nitrate, sulfate, arsenic, lots of different things that they test for. And the elementary operation water drop kit, if it's not sponsored, um, so if a school wishes to purchase one, it's $85 and a high school one is $170. But like I say, there are many uh, kits available for schools across Canada and especially in Saskatchewan and in Saskatoon that are available free of charge for the school due to sponsorships. Teachers really appreciate that the Operation Water Drop Kit is all ready for them. The Operation Water Pollution Program is for students in grades five to 12, and it includes a digital TDS meter and a digital pH meter, both of which are guaranteed to be reusable for at least two years. And often these kits are also sponsored, but if they are not sponsored, then it's $170. Also, if a teacher is able to pick up a kit, if they're local enough to Saskatoon, then uh, they would receive a 20% discount. And for all other teachers, if they purchase three kits or more, then they receive a 10% discount because we're able to save a bit on the shipping. And Operation Water Biology is for students in grades 9 to 12 and it directly connects with the science, chemistry and biology curricula and it is a series of eight lesson plans where students explore chlorine, chloramine, ammonia and iron by doing hands-on experiments and they demonstrate the idea of chlorine demand. They create chloramine through a simple chemical reaction and they test local samples of drinking water for chlorine and ammonia. And it is also often available free of charge to schools because of various funders, but otherwise the cost is $170 unless there's a discount due to picking it up or purchasing three or more kits. And the teachers really appreciate it, especially when they receive sponsored kits, but they really appreciate that the materials are very useful and that they're all ready for them, that they're all packaged up. And that they're prepared very well for them. Operation Water Spirit has been redeveloped recently and it is a collection of thematic units and lesson plans which reinforce Indigenous culture and perspectives regarding water for Indigenous students. And these 
Uh, this program is one of the ones that's available free of charge on our website at www.safewater.org. And there are groups of lessons available for kindergarten to grade 12. So they're split up into like K to 2, 3 to 5, 6 to 9, and 10 to 12 in terms of the grade levels. And the goal is to foster a closer relationship and understanding of water issues between Indigenous and non-Indigenous students. Operation Community Water Footprint is a program that enables grades 6 to 12 students to get information from about their local drinking water treatment facility, either by visiting it or having uh, the person who runs it come into their classroom or phoning them. And then once they have the information that they need, which they find out all the details about that in the program, they are then able to calculate how much raw water from, for example, the South Saskatchewan River it takes to produce one liter of treated drinking water, tap water, for example, in Saskatoon. And Operation Water Health is about what healthy drinking water is, what unhealthy drinking water is, as well as the health problems that can be caused by drinking unhealthy drinking water. It's a program for students in grades 6 to 12. Operation Water Flow is very interdisciplinary. So it enables us teachers to work together, the teachers of math, chemistry, biology, social studies, to support the science teacher in order to give students a more thorough understanding of water. So for example, the math lesson would be how much water do you use in a day? The social studies lessons would be about um, who is responsible for your drinking water. And it's also for grades six to 12. Students are also encouraged to conserve water and to encourage others to conserve water. We also sometimes hold student action competitions where students are tasked with learning about their source of their drinking water, educating others, conserving water, and encouraging others to conserve water. So thank you for listening to this presentation. Do not hesitate to visit our website or to contact us if you have any questions.